Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to yet another edition of Five Minutes with Phil. How is your week going? I hope it's going great. That would mean a lot to us if that was the case. And uh, I pray that we're a blessing to you as we share God's Word together. And uh, I thank you for joining us today. Uh, this morning, I, I, I want to encourage uh, everybody who's watching uh, from the book of Psalms, chapter 84, and we're going to look at it, verses 11 and 12. And I, I really want to speak to some people today that uh, maybe they just feel like that there's, um, I don't know, that they, they can't be happy, they can't be satisfied, they can't be content in life. And, 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 and maybe, you know, maybe the circumstances around you or maybe speaking a little bit louder than, than God's Word is to you. And that can happen to all of us. And so why don't we take a look at this together, and uh, let's see what the Lord might have to say about it. Check this out. Psalm 84, starting in verse 11, it says, For the Lord God is our sun and our shield. He gives us grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. O Lord of heaven's armies, what joy for those who trust in you. I especially love that last part where the, uh, the writer of this psalm says what a joy it is to trust in God. And um, I, I, I think that's actually hard for some people to do. It's hard for some people to trust in God because it forces us to not really trust in ourselves as much as we're trusting the Lord because we can kind of control what we can do, but we have no control about what God can do. And, and listen to this list again as to what the Lord does for each and every one of us, okay? It says that he is our son, S-U-N, he is our son and our shield, so he is a source of protection for us. He is uh, the one who sustains us so that we can grow. Uh, the Lord provides that to us. Just like a plant needs sun and water, uh, we also need the Lord and his Holy Spirit to be able to grow. Uh, the, the list goes on. He gives us grace. How many of you need grace from time to time, right? Because how many know we don't always get it right? We, we say things we shouldn't say. We do things we shouldn't do. Our attitudes are wrong. And, and we, we need the Lord to give us uh, some mercy again and to give us some grace again because of how we have handled ourselves. Uh, he gives us glory. Uh, he, I believe, goes before us when we are in situations that could seem a little bit intimidating or a little bit troubling. And he provides everything we need to be able to accomplish what his plan is and what his will is for each and every one of our lives. Um, the Lord will, oh man, I love this. I love this verse, okay? The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. Now, I want you to understand this, okay? Now, the scripture is not saying that you're going to be a millionaire, okay? So, you know, get that out of your head. Now, if he blesses you, great, okay? But but let, let's dig a little bit deeper, okay? I, I really believe that as we are faithful to God, he will be faithful to us. As we bless the work and the ministry of God, God will bless us as well. I, I think there is a, and I'm finding this more and more in Scripture, as we plant, as we do, as we bless, God does all that stuff back to us. And sometimes in an even greater form than what we did initially. I've seen God bless this church at times when we have given sacrificially uh, to, uh, for example, to missionaries and to the work of God all over the world and all over the nation and God has taken care of us. He's taken care of our church. And I really believe that there truly is joy in trusting in God. 
So I want to encourage you with that today. Your joy comes not in what you can do, but trusting in what God does. And I think that is a great source of encouragement for us. Okay, got to let you go. Thanks for joining me. We love you. Pray that you have a good day today. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.